Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the Laplace transform of a pretty simple function, and uh, this is f of t is equal to the constant a, right? So suppose we're dealing with the constant function, f of t equals a. Then by the definition of the Laplace transform, we know that um, L of um, f of t for any function f of t will have to equal the integral from uh, 0 to infinity of e to the negative st um, times um, f of t dt. And remember, we can also uh, denote the Laplace transform by capital F of s. So there it is. Yeah, all right, cool. And uh, in this example, the function is just a constant function f of t equals a. So L of uh, the function f of t equals a is going to equal uh, the integral from 0 to infinity and it's e to the uh, negative st and then the function is just the constant a so a times dt and since we can write a constant in front of the integral we can write that what we have is the same as a times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative st times dt right okay cool now um this antiderivative here is pretty simple but since we're dealing with an improper integral here uh we need to um rewrite uh, the integral and write it in the following way. First, we have a times, and then we'll write limit as b goes to infinity of um, the integral from 0 to b uh, e to the negative st uh, times dt. And this is just something we must do every time we have an improper integral, right? OK, cool, cool, cool. And now the antiderivative of e to the negative st is just negative 1 over s times e to the negative st. So what we have here is the same as a times the limit as b goes to infinity of uh, e to the negative st times um, negative 1 over s. So I could just write divided by negative s. Uh, and since we've taken the antiderivative and we have limits of integration, we need to evaluate at 0 and at b, right? OK, cool. All right. Uh, now, um, what we have then is the same as a times and um, let's, before we take the limit as b goes to infinity, let's evaluate at uh, b and 0 and then take the difference, right, from what we know in calculus. Okay, cool. Um, so then that's going to say um, plug in b. So that's uh, e to the um, negative sb. But I'm going to write that in the denominator. So I'm going to write 1 over negative s times e to the positive sb, right? And then I'll have to write this and then minus right and then i'll have to write minus uh plug in zero so e to the zero is just one and then i'll have a negative s in the denominator so minus one over negative s is what it'll be right okay cool and then um this limit applies to everything here but this here does not have a b in it so it's not affected by uh, the limit of b going to infinity right okay i probably wrote more parentheses than necessary but it's okay we'll live all right now um as b goes to infinity, uh, since this here is going to grow without bound, we're going to get 1 over a continually larger and larger number. And therefore, this is going to converge to 0 as b goes to infinity. And this is unaffected by b going to infinity. So we'll have negative of uh, 1 over negative s. So we'll just have 1 over s. And of course, we have a multiplying all this. And so we just get a over s. Therefore, the Laplace transform of uh, f of t equals a, that is f of s for um, f of t equals a, uh, will have to equal a over s. Yeah? Cool. All right. This concludes this video. And in the next video, I'll do the Laplace transform for f of t equals a t. And uh, in a video that follows that, I'll do it for f of t equals e to the a t. And then in the next one after that, I'll do it for f of t equals sine a t and then um, next I'll do f of t equals um, cosine a t and you get the picture and many more videos on the plus transforms yeah all right cool keep watching